Hello and welcome to ML fans. I am your host, Joseph Moore here with me. I got Coach Ryan of the Delaware Dittos. How's it going, people? How you doing, man? Oh, you know. man. Well, we'll go ahead and jump off into it. Did you get what you wanted for your first pick? Certainly, and especially so deep in for uh, uh, Ultra Beast, really. Yeah. It fell about six pieces. How many Ultra Beasts take? Three? Yeah, three, I think. Uh, Stack Attack, uh, Blacephalon, Cartana. Yeah. No, I, I, it was difficult to do in that configuration. You know, the three that I need to, but I just, I wanted Cartana the whole time. So, I was like, yeah, I can't pass this opportunity. All right, man. How do you feel about your draft overall? Yeah, and then you certainly got some powerful mons there in Azumarill and Komo'o. Oh, yeah. I didn't intend to make another jump to Yeah. Yeah, he drafted three, one, three of them back to back. <laughs> my, my friend Dusty does. Yeah, you never know. Sometimes it takes people by surprise. Um... What is your favorite Pokemon that you drafted on this team? Um, oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> it really is. And, uh, Luckily, uh, David wasn't drafting himself because maybe he might have picked that first. <laughs> Did you get sniped at all? Well, I've certainly made a lot of changes to this point to my team. Are you planning on making any to yours? Without telling us too much about what your plan is for this team, how do you make how are you gonna make this team work? And, um, yeah, I was actually going to bring something up about that. Uh, as you know, uh, Matt actually dropped Bioplume. Are you looking at that and replacing Lilligant? Yeah, and Tentacruel. Yeah, you don't want to double up on those typings too much. Yeah, it's going to be surprising with the Quiver Dance set. Mm. Oh, yeah. 
Are you surprised by any Pokemon that weren't drafted? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it got picked up. It wasn't drafted. Yeah, they, they surprisingly weren't drafted. Yeah. Oh. But trust me, I, I'm not a fan either, but there's definitely those people who like to bring them every time. Very true. Well, um, I don't know if you looked over the teams in your division, but is there a team in your division you think will give you a hard time? Um, I think the team that went after me, the team that got to the grid, I think that's going to be pretty hard just because I looked at their team and they have a very, very good matchup with like, things like Cinderace, Tangro. Oh yeah, especially with that regenerator core he got. He was he was very happy about it. <laughs> Alright man. What well, what about the Pokemon that fell to you? How how are you surprised about that? Yeah, it certainly hurt not to pick it, but I was like, I need Gavantula. <laughs> I do as well. I'm, I'm the same way there. But I, I was just like, you know what? Don't pick uh, Charizard, pick something else. And I thought Dusty was going to end up picking it, and he didn't either. So I was really surprised by that. <laughs> well, you seem pretty happy with your team. Is there anything else you want to say to the fans before we go? It's like, all right, maybe not so much luck. I need some wins. <laughs> Alrighty, man. Well, that's all the time I have for today. Uh, Thank you for joining us, and uh, good luck on the season. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.